So, last week, late on Friday, in fact, Citigroup decided to change and shift its chairman. So Richard Parsons, who's been there for a long time now, been at the board for a long time, has been at the, at the chairmanship for quite a few years, uh, decided to leave. They're bringing in Mike O'Neill, who's an experienced banker. Uh, but the important thing is that they're leaving the chairman and the CEO roles split. Now, Jeff, we wrote a piece about this. Okay. You know, uh, I think a lot of our readers will know that we, we have a sort of bugbear about chairman CEO splits, not just because it's good corporate governance, but, but because it actually makes sense. It actually for, makes sense, and it yeah. made sense for Citigroup. I mean, they had, they had Dick Parsons there, who was able to provide a lot of cover for Vikram Pandit as he tried to rebuild the, the bank. Um, Parsons, obviously well known in New York circles, Washington circles, was yeah. able to kind of help negotiate a lot of things. And, and it was good. We saw that trend moving towards splitting the roles, but now it's sort of started to creep back so the, the other way. Yeah. With, with I mean, there, there, there's always been this this uh, idea in the U.S. that, which is only slowly changing, that if, if you're, you're CEO and you're not given the chairman's job, it's a, it's like a vote of slap in the face. Only, yeah. Yeah. Well, if not a slap in the face, at least a vote of not quite confidence. Right. Right. Like and you're not good enough to have both jobs. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, that was one of the problems we wrote about ages ago when when you would, were stripping chairman and CEOs of their chairman titles, making yeah. them be CEO. So uh, you know, Ken Thompson at Wachovia is a perfect example. But it doesn't ben always work. Ken I mean, Lewis. It, it, you need the right people. Again, that's why yeah. Parsons, I think, was a good foil for for Pandit. You know, at Bank of America, they've put in this guy Charles Holiday, who nobody on the, the Wall Street incredibly really knows, un, who's not really, yeah. doesn't seem to be doing a lot for Brian Moynihan, at least not that's visible. Well, that, so. That's actually a question I had for you guys about, about this change. I mean, Parsons was the, was the connector, the, the sort of smooth yeah. connector. They're bringing in a... Mike O'Neill. Mike O'Neill, who's a banker. Um, but I think that's single where nothing, nothing Citigroup wrong is. With that. No. May, he may be the right guy for these times, but you know, is that the right mix? I think it probably. I mean, I think that's a good question. I mean, you look at the, the few years where Richard Parsons was in charge. This was where Vikram really, Vikram Panda, yeah. Yeah, really needed cover, cover in Washington with policymakers, yeah. with legislators. He had that. Um, I don't think Citigroup is in that state. They're not. A, they're not a ward of the state anymore. They're basically. Uh, I think well, on the men, they're still stabilized. Issues there, but it does. I think. Yeah, but it's not like you, the worry is. Washington is it's how you actually deal with a shifting business model how you deal with the the, the right. banking business how do you deal with a retail business that's in trouble where of course not in trouble but doesn't it's a bit substandard in the US I mean someone like Mike O'Neill who has got that operator's background could help Vikram on that respect right. I think I and think it allows that's the and again keeping it split allows Vikram to kind of focus on a lot of those things yep. with somebody on top you know as opposed to Morgan Stanley which has now given the chairmanship to, to, to James, James Gorman. Gorman and he's got both roles I, you know, we've certainly argued that he's just—he's got too much on his plate, really, to be doing both. But as we wrote, jobs, a, we talked about a week or two ago, Goldman Sachs might just do exactly what Citigroup is mm -hmm. doing, and when it decides to uh, <laughs> uh, elevate yeah. Lloyd to the chairman's seat and bring Gary Cohn in, but but that's a. Uh, only speculation on our part. Uh, and we'll be back with more such speculation, I'm sure, tomorrow with more breaking views.